promised it in the last episode, and in this episode, I am actually doing it. It is a bona fide miracle. Yes, that's correct. We are going to build our villager breeder here. And honestly, it's a matter of necessity because I need villagers to build an iron farm. I have, uh, let's see, in this box. Yes, this box. I have 27 beds. That means that we can immediately or, you know, as quickly as possible get 25 villagers. But that is not going to be enough for the project that we are going to be working on next. For the iron farm specifically. It's going to be big. And I'm so excited about it. And without further ado, we're going to jump into a time lapse. This is the first time I've done a modern build in, like, survival Minecraft, so that's kind of fun. Anyways, let's go grab us some villagers. No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna go through like so then. There we go. Alrighty, same procedure as last time we did this, more or less. Uh, hello, friend. Um, let's see. Oof, I don't have... Ah! It's a creeper, it's a creeper, it's a creeper! Why does this always happen to me? Where is he? Jadoom. And Jadoom. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. I'm pretty sure we have two villagers. Aha! There you are. I think these are the last two villagers in the village, so, like, that's awkward. Not me out here without my axe, which is very important for this kind of thing. There he is. All right, let's go. And shadoop. And shadoop. And shadoop. And he's through. Yay! Alrighty. Then we're just gonna pop ourselves through. Alright. No! Dang it. No! Oh my goodness. Why do they like standing in the portal so much? There we go. Alright, sir. Shadoop. And off he goes. Alrighty. No, 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 no. Hey! No! Now, I hope that activator rail won't- Oh, dear. It did. It did. Oh, dear. Where are you going? What the heck? They're drowned out here. Sheesh. He just... He decided to do some adventuring. Perfect. We did it, folks. They are happily, hopefully, deposited in their, in their place, and they should start making some making some villagers for us soon. So I guess we'll just let them get on with their thing while I clean up. There are so many villagers. I may have accidentally pulled an all-nighter and Pearl may have spent a large portion of it with me and we may be uh, kind of sleep deprived sleep deprived and slap happy right now but we've uh processed one set of 27 well actually it ended up being 30 villagers onto the 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 the, the nether roof and uh we were hanging about in a creative server that we're working on and uh we decided to pop back over and do the next set of villagers, because I AFK'd here for a little bit, and there are now a bunch more villagers. We have 30 on the roof, which leaves 50 to go, and this should cut it down to about 27 more left. So, we'll see how this goes. Oh my goodness, there's a cat! <gasps> it's an orange cat! It's Pickle the Third! It's Pickle the Third! Oh 
Oh, we gotta get Pickle the third. Okay. Uh, where do I have fish? Where do I have fish? I have fish somewhere. Oh, we have Pickle the third. Awesome. Now we can get back on track. Bah! Oh! He hissed! He hissed! Oh my gosh! <gasps> and he brought a rabbit's foot! Oh, what good luck! Why is there string here? What the heck? Alright, first one, second one. Oh dear, that is why the minecarts are allowed. <laughs> Oh, y'all okay there? Oh, goodness. They're just all pot. Oh, no, 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 no. The bounce. Ah! Oh, my God. There they go. Huh. Oh, okay, they're not moving. That's a start. Oh, my gosh. How do you... How do you sort of mess like this? Oh my lord. I love how we're starting to get just like a few villagers strewn out across the roof. Who knows if we're even gonna find them again? Yeah, now the question is how do we get them back? Okay, we're gonna place that down like there, maybe? Okay. I'm gonna free one, and just kind of see how it goes. Uh, he's, uh, going elsewhere? Boats may be faster. <laughs> Alright, I have one, and I'm gonna head. Oh, they went so far across the roof. It's gonna be a long way back. And once again, we continue the adventures of wandering across the nether roof with a passive mob in tow. This is like an every episode occurrence at this point. I love how we like learned all sorts of ways to like introduce control into the chaos that is villagers in in the first batch and yet the second batch still managed to thwart us. <laughs> villagers, it is never a linear path with you guys. After all that chaos, I have taken a little break and got myself a nice drink and eaten some food. That's important. Eat your food, drink your drinks, stay hydrated and nourished. And there does seem to be activity below us. Now, I have my render distance up to 16 and it's actually like behaving remarkably well, which is unusual for my computer. So like... I will take it. Um, I think, yeah, we'll we'll build just kind of right here off the coast of that small savanna. Okay, before we dive in, as you have probably gathered from the title and or thumbnail of this video, we are making MD's very new waifu iron farm, and I'm so excited to build it. Uh, as of the time of this recording, anyways, it was posted on YouTube two weeks ago. I'm so excited to do this. Um, I only actually watched the build video last night, and oh my goodness, like... It looks like such a satisfying farm build to work on. So I was going to use Lightmatica um, for the first time ever for for building this, but I think... Ah! Oh my gosh! Sir! You can't just appear in front of me when I'm talking! All right, where were we? Uh... I was going to do this from Lightmatica for the first time, but the build is really cool and also like super modular and super satisfying. And I think it's pretty followable from the video from what I can tell. So I think I'm just going to use Lightmatica to check it and hopefully I do all that correctly. Um, but anyways, I'm super, super excited to uh, build this and try this out. And my computer is probably going to hate me for it, but hey, it's doing great today, so we're going to hold on to that. 
okay, well, it is all built up. And we have the first of our two most annoying stages. This was super fun to work on. Like, it was chill once I got used to, like, the pattern of the modules. But, of course, we have to add pillagers and villagers. So, this is going to be exciting, to say the least. Okay. So, we needed to place this portal super exactly, which means we're going to have to go through into the actual nether. Alright. Oh, dearie, dear me. Ow! Of course we spawned in right between. Anyways, we're going to need to brute force our way out of here, because we're going to break this. And we go here. And here. Cool, cool. We are very close to that portal. Okay. Let's go ahead and like that. And we'll pop right through. Perfect. Alrighty, that should take us onto the pillager tower. Alrighty, time to get some attention. Hey, folks. Hello. Aha! Come on, good sir. Come on. Nope, nope. Come on. Oh. There's going to be arrows waiting on the other side, huh? There he goes. Alrighty. This should be fun. We need to hop in the boat so he can't shoot us. Ah. He needs to hop in the boat first. Jeez. Alright, let's walk away just a little bit. Come on, get in the boat. Dude, how are you standing on it and not in it? You. Oh no! He went back through the portal. Dang it. Okay. I'm gonna try laying down the boat after he goes through this time. Oh, and this means we need to give him an actual cool down. Where is he? Where is everybody? Sheesh. There he goes. Okay, so now we need to go through, lay down the boat, get him in the boat, and let him waste away his arrows. Actually, no, that's not going to help. Come on. Pajumba. Pajump. Pajump. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Now we sit there and let this happen. Can I do like that and then potentially break the boat? Because that might make this entire experience super chill. Never mind. No, he went right back through. Oh, dear. Let's go. Shoop. Nice. And now we can... Get him on his way. And we're going to fly over and hopefully the golems don't hurt him. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, that is unfortunate. No, do not kill him. Do not kill him. Do not kill him. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, sir. Let us break the minecart on this side. And you can just... Jump right up in there. Perfect. And then I will pop through. And... Uh... No! Where did... I ended up just name tagging them. And that will keep them alive through portals. But I had one dude who just decided to, you know, walk off the blocks here. And got himself dumped down in there and I had to portal him through and then an iron golem got him. So, we were going to be done. We have one more to get. Okay, Mr. Man here seems to have worked out his anger issues. Cool, cool. 
I found that even though he doesn't stay in the minecart, uh, putting him in the minecart will actually will line him up to be in like the right spot. And we're going to fly over and scooch our iron golem friend out of the way if he's still around. He is not. Cool. Cool. Alrighty. Now, Mr. Dude is there. And we break the portal. Because that just makes life a thousand times easier. And Bajumba. Okay. We're ready. We're ready to bring in the villagers. Everything is ready to go. They are the last piece. I still need to set up the item filters for my storage system. That That's the other last piece. But that's far less important and far easier to do than dealing with these guys. Um, I have almost enough here. But we're going to start with the ones on the nether roof. And I think... I think we can, like, get a decent system together for them pretty quick. And Wolfie's gonna join to help with dealing with this whole mess. Which is awesome. Two people are always easier to do deal with villagers than just one. Okay, so we have a job block on this side. I might even lower it down by one just to you know really get their attention so the way this should work is we push some villagers in there they walk through the portal and then they'll come out on the other side and pathfind to their beds the trap doors in front of the beds are open i the golems need to get off the tracks come on you guys are causing issues. Alrighty. Sir. Sir. You see the job block there? On the other side of the portal? Yeah! Yeah, go to it. Hmm. Maybe we'll even make this chamber smaller. Let's... Ah, there he goes. Let's put that there just for, like, ease of pushing as well. So, let's pop through. See where this guy ended up? Oh! He's already... Already claimed a bed. Perfect. Fingers crossed, but I think this might go okay. Alright. Now that we have three guys in, for example, this cell, what we're going to do is we're going to... Oh, no! That wasn't supposed to happen. Are you actually going to lay down and sleep there, sir? We're going to move that and see if that puts them standing where they need to be. Okay. Are you going to lay down there, sir? Okay. Ah, oh, perfect. That bed is full. We're just going to... Oh, no! Oh, no! Okay, we'll have to wait for night time again. But I think everybody on this side did pretty well. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Come on, go, go, go. Come on, there's only so many beds. Alrighty. Now we start taking these away. We'll have to double check the the bed numbers just to be super safe and sure. But I think we are actually like done and dusted as far as having the number of villagers we need. All 
All right, sir, at your leisure. That is all of them. I'm like super, super sure. Okay, I am terribly worried because, well, this is a really big thing and it involves so many villagers and like, that's, that's scary. Because like, what if they all die? But we're not gonna, we're not gonna do what ifs. We're going to do confidence. This is gonna work. And this will be our moment of triumph. I'm excited and scared. Let us proceed. All right. Dudes are being dropped. Are golems being produced? I don't see golems. Where are the golems? There are the golems! There's the first one! That's our first golem right there. It shouldn't have been a sleeping issue, but oh, there we go. Now that they've kind of gone to sleep. Interesting. You know, the specific lights we're using may be an issue because they can technically spawn on top of them. I think I might put like glass panes or something like that on them because that will spawn proof them. But like golems can technically spawn on them. Should have thought that through because sea lanterns are transparent, which means they're not spawnable. Flying is one thing that I have gotten better at over the course of this project. Uh, there's a lot of awkward landings that happen. I think this should be... Oh, no, we have one more. One more set. Right there. Alrighty. I think that should be sufficient spawn proofing. I'm not entirely sure if golems can spawn on buttons. Like, I kind of assume not. But, just to be clear on exactly which version of the farm I used, uh, this is the Single Dimension Pillager Maxi 19. Say that ten times fast. But because it's the Maxi, I'm not going to have to do anything to update it for 1.20.2. It will continue functioning just as well. Which is great for me because I, I, I don't want to do extra work for this. Now, here's a thing I'm super proud of. If we come down to our storage system, oh gosh, it's loud. Anyways, I converted a shulker loader, um, and I'll link the video I was basing it off of in the description, but I've never made a shulker loader before, and I managed to convert it to fit the limited amount of space I had here. I don't know. I'm super proud of the fact that, like, I could just do that. I knew how things functioned, and I knew what to do to make it do what I needed it to do. That's big for me. Huge shout out, of course, to Pearl and Wolfie for helping me deal with moving the villagers. I can't even imagine how much longer it would have taken if I had to do it on my own. Remember my very first iron farm? I built that not even a year ago. It was absolutely terrible, but I learned so much working on it. And like, I still learned so much working on a much bigger iron farm. I never would have imagined at that point that I'd actually be able to like pull something like this together and understand what was going on and be able to like troubleshoot effectively. I don't know, it's just so exciting! Is anyone watching this planning to build this iron farm anytime soon? Let me know down in the comments, and of course, as always, please do leave a like, and if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. I hope I'll see you all for the next one! Bye!